Hi, welcome to Excel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will understand what is the kind of user interface um, Microsoft Excel 2011 has. So, on the top, we can see we have lots of icons, and each of these icons does very specific tasks. And we will understand what they are. So, starting with the title of the page. So, here we can see that um, we have workbook 5. So workbook is the default name of any new file. So whenever you are saving any file, it will ask for a save as or a new name. So in case you don't provide that new name, then, then the file will, will be saved by this name. So make sure that you are using or typing in very relevant name pertaining to your document. So now talking about these shortcuts, we have lots of them. So first of them, if we if we will hover over each of them, then it will show us what it does in the in the yellow space. So as we can see, it says new workbook. So basically, it creates a new a new file um, or a workbook in which there will be multiple sheets. So by default, there are one sheets, but we have the option of adding more sheets to it so here we can see that here we have sheet 1 and there is this plus symbol so this plus symbol is for inserting any sheet so in Excel we don't really call any file a file but but a worksheet or a workbook so this will be a worksheet while a workbook will be having lots of worksheets inside it then we have new from templates so uh, Excel has got multiple predefined templates so in case you want to use them then you use so by default we have Excel workbook then there then there is multi page calendar then there is one page calendar then pros and cons so these are multiple ways of representing the data so, and you can choose any of them depending on your needs so choosing the default one now we are going ahead with open a file so let's say you have an existing file and you want to open it back so click on it and browse through your workbooks and you will find it and open it that file about the saving part so since or if this document is new you have to save the file or you have to sh save the workbook so you have to click on it or, or rather uh, press Control s key and it will ask for a location and a name so provide the location where you, where you want to save the file and uh, the name so the file will be saved in that particular location with, with the name you provided now cut and copy so let's say we have this string ABC and we want to cut it so we can just click on it and we want to paste it in F2 so just click on paste so we have seen that it has been removed from its original location to a new location now if you want to copy the formatting from one location to another and apply it to other so how do we do that so let's say we have this text which is of 72 uh, font size with and it's bold now we have another text which is very small comparatively and is having 12 as its font size while and it's not even bold italic or underlined and we want to copy the formatting of this text to this one so all we need to do is click on this button or this icon and then so originally we have selected the original place which we, uh, from where we want to copy the formatting and then we will just click on this paint brush and then we will click over here so now what happened was or what happened is the formatting of this particular text has been copied to this text as well or this cell as well so this is how we copy the formatting of any uh, text or any cell to a, another location 
now let's say we want to undo it so which means that we want to go back to history one step so click on undo and it will move back to its original state one at a time one um, step at a time so let's say you have uh, typed a then b then c then d then e and if you will press undo then it will remove e first then d then c then b then a while if you want to redo it so it will it will just bring it back one step at a time a b c d e and it's disabled because there is no further thing in history now talking about the sum operation so what is sum so let's say we have five numbers six five four three two one and you want to calculate the sum of these figures so all we need to do is click on this sum and then it will automatically select uh, the cells which are just above it and then just press enter so it will show you the the sum of these figures so this is why or this is how the sum function is used we will talk about arranging the data in the later video so will the others so talking about um, zooming in and zooming out inside any worksheet so let's say this seems a bit large in size so what we can do is we can ju just zoom out a bit so let's say 100 so this is the original size of the work worksheet but if you want to increase the size if you are not if you are not able to see the contents then you can just select 200 percent so it will just zoom in zoom in or you can even select 250 so this is up to you how much how much magnifying or how much zoom level you want thank you for watching the video